Well, hello everyone. I'm very glad for the, this particular question. <clears throat> Actually, the hearing impaired, you know, uh, most people, especially uh, their parents, uh, those that, uh, that do not know that um, the deaf has a particular potential, you know. I used to tell people that uh, deaf people, I'm talking about the hearing impaired, they are also born with different and unique potentials. They are born with uh, great talent in them. You know, the only difference between the hearing impaired and the, and the hearing is the inability to hear. So they also have every other thing that uh, the hearing counterpart has in their life. They can dance. Yes, you are surprised that they can dance. They also dance to music. They cannot hear it, but they, they used to feel the sound within themselves. And when they are dancing to music, they will not off beat. So they have great potentials in them. Yes, the only problem is that we, the hearing counterpart, if we can accord them with the same level of love given to the hearing children, the hearing uh, counterparts, I'm very sure that these ones, uh, they will also, uh, they will be able to achieve and uh, utilize the inborn talent that uh, the Lord has given. I want to encourage the parents and the guidance of uh, these people, the hearing impaired, that you should give them quality education. If you give them the quality education, you'll be surprised that, uh, you'll be surprised at what they are able and they are capable of doing. Some people will say that uh, they cannot spend on, the, on their deaf children thinking that any money spent on them will go down the drain. It's a, it's, a, it's a mistake. I have a particular lecturer. Yes, a deaf lecturer. And it's a PhD holder, a chief lecturer at the Federal College of Education. A deaf, deaf lecturer, and it's a PhD. So he, he, he has achieved so much that uh, the so-called hearing they have, they have not been able to achieve because his parents were able to foresee. They were able to give him quality education. They did not neglect him. They did not see him as a mistake. So if you see a deaf person, a deaf child, that is useless, that are begging in the street, it is as a result of a society misconception towards them. Give them the right education and you'll be surprised at the level of potential that is embedded in them. So deaf, apart from the inability to hear, they can do all and everything a hearing person can do. Uh, when we started our uh, drama uh, ministry, because um, I, I had a vision to establish a ministry for the hearing impaired. And uh, we started in the year 2012. And um, when I told people that we will not be, we, I don't want to limit them to their, uh, to, the, to their world. We want to break barrier. And they ministered in churches where none of the member understand the sound language. They use sign language because sign language is their own means of communicating with one another. But what do we do? How do we achieve it? We have what we call a voiceover interpretation of the action on stage. Someone will be, uh, when they were menacing us on stage, someone will be uh, interpreting what is going on stage as if the person is the one acting. That was how people were uh, enjoying and got the message passing across to them. So they are very good actors, very good dancers. Yes, very good dancers. So deaf people, they are great people. Honestly, they are great people. So if the society can change our perceptions towards them, give them quality education, you'll be surprised at what they will offer the community. They have their own quota to contribute to the society if we can change our perceptions toward them. Deaf people, I've crushed people.